Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 6, Episode 17 of Teen Wolf, entitled Werewolves of London. We'll see if it'll happen or not. Well, you know, in the last episode, we had a bunch of the Gerard Toad, Monroe. Hey, look, we don't have the same connection as an Alpha and a Beta. He wanted to kill Liam and drop him off in front of Scott. Now, we're going to see how everything plays out here. At the end of that last shot, somebody got hit. Somebody was bleeding. They stuck their arm up. Who was it? The world may never know. So, uh, we'll see We'll see who that is in this episode. If they're going to Werewolves of London, like I was kind of giving the example of they need to get extra peeps so like for their, for their war. So, let's get Derek. Let's get these other people. And there may even be a possibility for a certain flannel. You know? I'm just saying. In London... I know there's no Isaac, but man, I would still I would still love it very dearly. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content if there's a day there is a reaction. Links are in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry is going to do his best work behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get into it, baby. Previously on Team nah, we don't need any of that. All right. Normally I skip that ahead of time. I forgot to do so. There's Big Ben, bro. I don't know shit about nothing other than Big Ben, honestly. It's the only landmark I know. Over there. After the beep. Me again? Promise you wouldn't be late. You know how long I've been trying to get tickets to the show? Exactly as long. Wait, which one died? Because I'm that guy. This is Ethan. So please don't be the guy who shows up late to your anniversary. You have a okay. you have the goddamn Stark logo on your cufflinks. The car arrives. You calling Danny? You know who it's from. Why he look like a little buddy from the Why that guy look like hold on, let's see if we can get his face. So we hear you and your boyfriend have been tracking other werewolves. We'd like to know their names. Bro, from not right there, but that other angle, he looked just like the dude. From uh, Catfished, the main dude. But most of them won't work on him because he's not just part werewolf. He's, he's part cannon mum. We got a little bit of wait for it, wait for it. I'm gonna take his bucket over your head, bitch. And both parts are pissed. Hey, bro. Haley, it's me, Jackson. You ain't seen me in about a couple seasons, but I'm back now and I'm ready to do some work. All right, you hear me? Hit that dude over the head with a bucket and I'm back now. Haley, I ain't got a flannel on. I got a suit on. Haley, oh, Haley, I almost fell out a window, Haley. Oh, no. Haley. <laughs> hey, bro. I can't okay. believe you actually thought I forgot our anniversary. Yeah. How could I? Going right in for the smoochy smooch? Cue the fucking intro. Wait for it. And go. Teen Wolf. You know, I really like that. Christopher is in the uh, the opening thing, but he's really not in it that much. I mean, really, neither is Mama McCall. This is this is Inside Out. This jacket. I mean, it looks the same Inside Out as it does Right Side In, I guess, but it's Inside Out. Anyways, uh, yeah, I was about to say, where's my? I kept going for like my my mid pouch pocket. It's not there. So, Jackson, Haley, it's me. You thought I was dead, but really, I got into a relationship with one of them. One of them alpha twins, Haley. <laughs> so I love that, by the way. What a what a great way to introduce him as the mystery boy. I was really hoping it was going to be Danny, but you kind of start thinking werewolves in London. You kind of think he's going to be there in the first place. He gets shot with the wolfsbane. It's part cannabis. You should use the other one. Blah blah blah. That's really cool. Them two together. What a random pairing. I think, man, some things in this show, obviously the actors go and they do other stuff, right? If you can get them locked in for certain things and you expand certain points of the seasons, multiple episodes, to to even get that in, in any way, shape, or form is beautiful. Uh, yeah, and you always got the stuff. I told you guys back in like season one and two that... Jackson and Danny. Sometimes Jackson just seemed a little the way he talked about the way he looked at Danny, the way he talked to Danny, you knew. You knew. That's okay. That's right, my friend. Be you. Be you. But that's cool to see. I, I love that those those two are back. And what I was gonna say too, 
not to make the opening too long of a pause, but uh, people mentioned this in some other comments as well. I don't consider it a spoiler because these people are in the movie. There's not any particular role that is a, a spoiler for it. But the characters, I don't know the real life names, but the, the peeps that play Aiden and Ethan, they are in the Batman. And obviously you'll know when you see them in the Batman because they're fucking twins. But uh, it was just cool to see them. Cool to see they're in such a big budgeted movie. So, all good, bro. A little Jackson back in the fold. Now uh, we just need to get, we need, we need Derek. Beautiful. Hey, Scott, this is real. They open fire on your house and hit your mother. Okay? Mama McCall, I just want to give you a little forehead smooch. Just a little. No, can't it can't wait. Don't ever say it can wait, bro. That shit. Don't run. You fight. You fucking fight, my boy. Take a little nap, mama. Take a little nap. There you go. Give her a little forehead smooch. Oh, man. Okay. Forehead to forehead is good, too. That's good. Brain power is bonding and shit. We got to give her the forehead smooch, bro. Insta lock. Best kiss. This there it is. Best kiss of the season. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Man, hey, no disrespect to Jackson and Ethan right there, bro, because that was like, we ain't seen, I don't think, I think we've seen two kisses the whole season. That would have been a fucking lock too, but, oh, man. Oh, that's so good. Ah. Hey, Tyler Posey's a better actor than I would be, because if I had to pretend like that was my mom right there and laying in that bed, I don't know if I'd get to the scene. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be fucking snotting and shitting and people wouldn't know what's going on. I'd be, I would literally just be fucking panting out of breath sobbing tears snot just mama <laughs> it'd be bad where's my dad transferred to san francisco memorial he's gonna be fine and what about well there goes his dad the rest of the season out of surgery. lydia she's all right too damn bro everybody got hit everything that matters thank god and that's rough for stalinsky too because like that's his son's best friend and also it's another one of his kids right it, i mean just, you can go ahead and call it what it is. Like, Styles, as much as Styles is also Mama McCall's son, Scott is also Papa Selinsky's son in the way that they're that close and bonding. Just it's just another just another parent in your life. But also, like, Papa Selinsky and Mama McCall are actually, they're friends. So not only that, not only is his, like, children, in a way, being affected as close as he's bonded with, with Lydia at times and he's bonded with these other characters, bonded with Malia, uh here and there but like also his friends getting injured that's a tough spot to be in especially as as its sheriff the motherfucking duke Hilliard. my man duke done came back in his situation hey bro duke Haley and you you yeah there's step one you know my fighting days are over man well you gonna have to go that's ahead hard and, to believe. yeah reel that I'm shit in kill any living thing that got in your way I said a lot of things. You did it. Eventually, the bodies pile up so high that even a blind man can ignore them. Mm. So you moved into a cave? The bodies pile up so high that even a blind man can't ignore them. Do Kaylee and just be dropping fucking just. Oh. He took a vow of uselessness? Ah. I took a vow of uselessness. Are you sure? This man done turned over a new so leaf? It? You're a pacifist. You're a pacifist now? Yeah. What's going to stop me from slashing your throat? Plenty. How'd you do that? It's pagua. <laughs> this it's man. Part of least resistance. You think you're going to beat me without fighting? Yes. You're going to beat yourself. Yep. Legs. I like how Scott was trying to like, hey, just 
rápido, do tem. Theo, shut your shut, shut your dumb ass up. You thought this through? Any idea where you're gonna dump the body? No one saw you grab him, did they? Because that could be a problem. I don't care. I don't care either. Please let me help. I'm the one with experience here. If we kill him, want the fire. He is a he he does have experience killing innocent people, yes. We're gonna need shovels, some plastic bags, maybe a chainsaw. Chainsaw? <laughs> Bro, he just got <laughs> He just calmly him down at the old big boat threw back up against the glass. What other buys, bro? Get to speaking. Gerard withheld vital information from us so that he and he alone would be the one to kill this creature. Bring a little clout back to his name. Bring a little clout back to his name, says Papa Stalinsky. Little clout. You only choose them over us. Did you not listen? Have you not watched this show? And by ineffective, I mean ineffective. So you ain't watched nothing in this show because Papa Slinsky goes back and forth between wanting to be the fucking high road cop and go on the side of law and justice, brother, and fucking not help out the supernatural, compare, even though he knows about all this shit. Sit down and watch the show. Like, What are you doing? You're just ill-advised, and that's okay. You're taking advice from Lydia. It's not even fucking winter, okay? And you're laying here. The bed's sugar frosted. I need your help. With what? Another suicide mission? No, you literally you. helped us in the the last season. Or do you need my help? I'm here for moral support. For him or for me? You'd need to have morals. You helped us fight the Ghost Riders. Hey, thank you. But we couldn't have won mm. without you. You're stronger than all of us. You're the real reason the wild hunt. Stop. Solid effort. You don't need to appeal to my ego. It's quite healthy. You're going to need to work a lot harder than that if you want my help. What do you want? Everything pretty much is the way I want it. Scott, he's not stronger than all of you. Scott, I watched you turn into Neo from the fucking Matrix. And block everything this man threw at you before you wrecked his shit. Chill. Peter was once upon a time a strong duck. But, you know. My penthouse apartment is filled with mid century furniture. My passport has more stamps than the post office. And did you My see the penthouse car apartment? That's a Shelby 1000 Cobra. There are only 100 in the entire world. I have two. Two. But Gerard has an army. Yeah, I guess you got some of your money back then, brother. G thirty six C. I played Call of Duty. Rounds per minute, and it's empty. It's literally an Arkham fucking prisoner, right? I mean, this dude is sitting there and gets thrown a clip, and immediately just starts fucking blasting. Granted, he does it to jump out the window, but he's just taking aim like. Are you okay? What did Gerard tell you? Why are you doing this? Because she wants you dead. See? Blind obedience. Blind. Ducalian. This is my station now. Dirty cops, bro. Dirty, dirty, dirty fucking little bitch ass cops. Trust him. Gerard only cares about himself and his ambitions. He's, he's all facts, him. no printer. But I know one thing. He's going to win. And that's what I care about. You, you only care about that here, W. Nothing is more important to Gerard than this fight. I never said Gerard wouldn't beat me. I said he wouldn't beat Scott. He ain't going to beat Scott, brother. You hear that? The true alpha, Monroe. Think long and hard about that shit. You ain't getting my badge or my glizzy. I'm out. Stop. We don't need to see her feet. We don't need to see that. One of you, probably Jeff Davis, has a foot fetish, and it's weird. Stop it. No. Well, it's nothing that I can tell you, but I can show you. She just... Oh, yeah, all right. Well, we just talked about it. There it is. That motherfucker... Bleh.
That big ass fucking meatball walking around. What was that? That's the Anukate. It creates and just say the two face affecting the hunters, and it'll make them come for I'm glad his nails are activated like fucking Spider Man, where you just press right in the middle and just fucking they just pop out. Oh my fuck. Hey, you're missing your eyeballs. That's it. The pack, bro, were they all sharing the same bed? Little cuddle action, little pack cuddle. Little spoonage. Little pack orgy. I don't know what they're doing. You know, I'm just I'm an observer. Well, there's the pack. Alright. They would have been all these people would have been really good for Duke Alien's pack. Let's hope this thing doesn't feed off desperation. Because this room reeks of it. <laughs> what happened? Hunters. Uh. Let's turn that perfect automobile. <laughs> this thing had anything this to motherfucker stays that getting burnt. Appropriately. Painful. So he wants to fight because of his I car. Cars. There's going to be hell to pay. So he doesn't want to fight for his daughter. He doesn't want to fight for none of that shit. He just wants to fight for his vehicle. He saw that connection. He's going to get himself killed. Don't fall in love with the dead man. Too late. <laughs> too late. She says too late. I'm already. I'm sprung. Wow, he got me. Got me doing things I never do. Even though that was Styles also had her like that because he had her highlighting in books. That's beside the point. Excuse me. Hi, I'm looking for Scott McCall. I hear he's the new assistant lacrosse coach, which is kind of mind blowing to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Assisting. I'll be happy to help you find him. Tell me your name again. Jackson. Jackson Whitmore. Jackson yeah. Whitmore. Happy anniversary. <laughs> They're fucking adorable. Boop, 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 boop. And you know, they could always just plan for the next, celebrate their anniversary on the following day. It doesn't have to be the exact same day. You know, don't be weird about it. All right, so werewolves in London, bro. We get the return of Jackson. <laughs> hey, it's me, Jackson. <laughs> Who we haven't seen since episode... Like the end of season two, when he turned into a, a wolf with blue eyes. And I, I just really think, I, I like some of the smaller seasons, but I just feel if you're going to, if you're going to go this route, like season five worked well because I mean, it was split, but it's overall the same story. This is too, it, this had a definitive end in 610 and now I moved on to different things. If you could have conjoined these two a little better for 20 episodes, I think it would have it would have flowed way, way, way nicer. I also think, though, that the story for 6A and so far in 6B, I think the story in 6A could have been 20 episodes. I think if you take this back half so far of this story, because it's, it's set up multiple different things. We have the hunters, we have the goddamn Two-Face, Anukate, but, like, episode one gives us a, a subplot of Styles and Derek. There's, there's three episodes left. There's not going to be an appropriate payoff for that. You can give a payoff, but it's not going to be one that's like, oh, remember we, we teased this and this? This is where it is now. I just feel like more episodes would have helped pay off. And this isn't the these peeps' fault. I mean, it, it comes down to basically uh mtv ratings and all that other shit maybe it does fall on the producers as well uh, i don't know too much about jeff davis and his whole vision for the show but i know for example like with game of thrones that like game of thrones was supposed to be 10 seasons 10 episodes hour a piece all across the board 100 episodes and they got promises of making a star wars movie and so they rushed the last two seasons to go do that which led to a shittier product, which led to them losing their Star Wars movies, uh, which I'm glad they're not going to be involved in any way, shape, or form in uh, House of Dragons. Beside the point, talking about wolves, not dragons. 
it's really cool to see Jackson back. It's really cool to see Ethan back. Uh, Jackson was a character that, like, even though he was, like, kind of a, a piece of shit, he was the snake, he was the bully, the jock of the first two seasons. Uh, he was in the opening playing lacrosse, swinging a stick and shit. He was oddly humorous. And seeing this version of him is the version I've been wanting to see since he flashed his eyeballs. It's been a thing in the back of my head. I'm like, are we going to see Jackson again as a wolf? Because that'd be kind of cool. And he's right here. So we're going to eventually get Jackson and Ethan a part of this. We already have Peter. We'll get Deucalion. Uh I imagine we have to fucking get Derek. There's, I don't think there's any way around it. Um, I can't think of anybody else. Yeah. I can't. I can't think of anybody else. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I can't think of a good way right now. This will wrap up. That'll be satisfactory across the board. But I'm gonna keep high hopes for it because all the finales so far have been really good. I just think the six A finale was so perfect. It's gonna be kind of hard to top that. So Werewolves of London, Gerard's reach has reached that far. I do like the concept of Gerard being back, kind of in power. The way it happened feels a little weird, but like having him back in a position of power. And getting back to his ultimate goal is pretty cool, even though he wanted just a cure for his cancer, which I'm guessing he got. And then the herbs that Chris gave him cured him of all of that as well. I think I think that should be looked into like, I don't know. So episode 17, after a shocking attack leaves the pack reeling, Scott sets out to recruit uh, reinforcements. I love that moment between Scott and his mom. I absolutely love it. Sheriff Zelensky kind of getting punked out, bouncing. Again, Christopher is in this fucking opening, and he's in every three episodes, every other third episode. Uh, Malia and Scott's bond. Peter sees that. He tries to play it off like he's not affected by it, but like you know, he sees he sees that connection. You know, he's fighting for his his cars. He's fighting for his daughter and this person that protecting his daughter and this person that his daughter cares about. This is the first time that Malia, being Peter's daughter, has made any sort of sense. Like, it's effective. So, uh, other than that, Liam and uh, Liam and Theo kind of being like a buddy cop type thing. It was a little interesting. The Anukate is kind of taking a backstory to the Hunters. The Anukate obviously increasing their fear to make them want to hunt the wolves even more is interesting. I just don't feel like enough's being talked about about both so far. So, on that note, we're going to wrap out. We're going to see how it progresses from here on out. I imagine we'll start continuing getting... Um, more recruit members, and I don't think we'll actually get into war until probably the last two episodes. Maybe episode 19, first half of 20, and then a resolution and a, a happy, somber ending, whatever it is, for the end of 20. Regardless, episode 18 is entitled Genotype, and I will see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.